Hey crew, welcome to today's Making the Most of It recipe. Uh, we're doing blackened chicken uh, on the barrel. We're gonna do two different seasonings, kind of an A-B test today. Really what separates the two of them, uh, one's gonna use some coriander, uh, the other one's gonna use uh, cumin. Here in Montana, we don't have hardwood, right? We have lodgepole pine, which burns right. fast. Um, so I'm just gonna put a good, not a good, uh, uh, I don't know what the volume you wanna say, but I'm not cooking for hours, right? So sure. I don't need too many poles. But, um, and then I'm gonna split some wood up for kindling, which I don't know if you wanna join for that. I'm All right, Ryan. Matt, Sam joined us What's today. <laughs> Easy. Simplifies everything. chilies for my garden dry chilies uh, they're probably gonna add a little flavor but really I just feel like it's gonna look better we're ready to flip These are some really thick pieces of chicken breast, so you might not have to let them sit as long as I did, but uh, it's probably gonna take another 15 minutes. When I'm down to about mm, six, seven, I'll throw on my squash zucchini right in this area. I don't like my uh, vegetables to be soft. Uh, I like them to still be crisp, but with a good sear, so. Uh, like I said, about five, six minutes on there, a couple flips, uh, and those uh, spears should be good to go. We are hot. So I'm gonna change something really quick, just because of the thickness of these chicken breasts. Definitely not going to cook as fast as I thought. I don't know if you can see how soft they are still, but that softness just means they're still very rare. So I was cooking them about 5, 550. Uh, I'm just gonna lock them into lock collar, lift it up, reduce that temperature and kind of bake it basically, roast them a little bit longer so I'm not blackening them as much as I am right now. So I've lifted it up a few inches, um, hovering between 350 and 400. Uh, I'm gonna let that sit, like I said, for, you know, before it was 15 minutes, that was 10 minutes ago. Now I'm probably gonna still let it sit for at least another 10 minutes at this, at this height and temperature. Zucchini chicken served. Right. Let's go in and eat, guys. Yeah. Keeping our distance, right? Yeah. <laughs> smells good. It smells amazing. There you go. Mm. Get in my belly. Mm -hmm. Well, guys. Oh, this is amazing. 
have we made a decision? Is it the coriander or the cumin? Which one's better? Oh, that's tough. I'm gonna go with the second one I tried. Which one? The second one was coriander. Coriander, okay. That's Let, I like I like the coriander as well. Cumin's good. It's a little bit more like savory, hearty, mm -hmm. but I like the coriander better. And see, better. and I like I like that savory taste better. So mm -hmm. I liked option one. Ah. I got out of voting, but, uh, but both are fantastic. Both are you cannot go wrong. With yeah. There's no going wrong with both it. Amazing. It's awesome. Good. Thanks, guys, for joining us uh, while we're making the most of it. Uh, stay tuned for more recipes. Thanks.